Because the Supra. Oh my god, babe, this is Supra. <laughs> Toyota Supra. This is my favorite car of all time. Toyota Supra. We'll own a Mark IV. Since I was a kid, I've loved the Toyota Supra. Tonight is the night. He actually surprised me and said that he got all the state inspection done and the car is ready to be delivered either tonight or tomorrow. I said tonight for sure. But it's gonna be the longest day ever because it's not gonna be delivered till like 11 o'clock. I don't even know what to do. I don't, I don't. Bro, I don't even know what to do with myself. It's like six more hours. Six and a half hours later. Currently 9.30, running a little ahead of schedule. Y'all, if you only knew how distracted he's been all day. This is just torture. He just sent me an arrival time 10 minutes ago that said he'd be here 9.33 and it's now 9.36. <sighs> These three minutes have felt like four hours. Go run a lap or something. Probably wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Stop. Here he is. <gasps> there it is. My Toyota Supra in the flesh. <laughs> oh my God, dude. How's it going, man? Appreciate you for uh, being able to come tonight. That's awesome. Oh yeah. <sighs> Yeah, if you just go straight back, you're good. Straight back, you're good. The seats is a lot lower than normal. <laughs> yeah, no, you're fine. Straight back, you're good. Coming off there, but you're keep the, you're good. The front's on, you'll be fine. Go check the other side. Money. It's here. She's home. <laughs> Babe. You're sitting in your own Supra. My own stink box. Oh, electronic seats. <gasps> Fancy. You got tons of space. She happy? I can't wait any longer. I need to look at my car. Wow, I have a lot to say. I will say this, my dream Supra is a ta white Targa Top V160 twin turbo, 98 black interior, and that car exists out there, but it's probably around 100 grand. <laughs> so, if you guys didn't hear the story on this, it wasn't really an impulse buy, but I did buy this thing at a party, and it's pretty fun, it's a good way to spend a party, because I don't really know how to talk to non-car people, so it worked for me. Honestly, as far as Supras go, especially imported ones, this one's actually in pretty okay condition. The body is actually not bad, it's got pretty bad paint, which I mean, like, if you guys remember my, when I got my R33, that car had bad paint. This one's actually not actually so bad. It's got some kind of like weird, I wouldn't say like TRD style, like some sort of like redox, I don't even know. Some sort of like fiberglass skirt on it, which looks not horrible, but like also not amazing. I might try and get some actual better skirts on it. As you can see, it's got some really sick um, <laughs> replica wheels on it. Whenever I saw the original picture of this car, I thought it actually had some wed Cerberus on it, which I was like, oh, it's really cool. But uh, no, nah, these are some like crusty old like replica wheels, which will definitely have to come off as soon as possible. It is wingless. It will not be wingless for very long. They actually did a terrible job of patching up the trunk and uh, bonding the holes. I really want a Toyota logo, dude. I need a Toyota logo. I need to say Supra on it, dude. That's the two things I need. So it's a 93. I already have 98 tails coming. I mean, these taillights are just not in awesome condition. Neither 
are the headlights. The paint, it's got a little bit of paint coming off on the rear, but that's all right. I'll probably have Jose go and do a lot of carbon and painting for me, but overall, the car's actually not super bad, especially as, I mean, as far as the outside goes. I might look at getting a new front bumper. This one seems to be a little, not warped, but just not so great. As you can tell, it is a naturally aspirated Supra. Turbo Supras are ridiculously overpriced. Let me go to the inside. The reason I really wanted to buy this one is because this one was already manual. Not that that makes a huge difference because I'd rather put an R154 or V160 in here, but the W58, it does make it a little easier down the line if I ever want to do a manual swap, which I would. So this car, let's go ahead and get in. It actually smells just like my SC300 did. Like, exactly. What the heck? That is weird. This, you've got some interesting things going on in the interior here. Somebody really liked spray paint and also didn't like to put things back together super, super well. So, a um, couple things. This car was done very cheaply, but like, they sprayed the whole dash silver. And it's not good looking. So, I'm gonna have Jose go over and carbon fiber the entire thing. So we're gonna have full carbon on this. Replacing the radio, which I actually might have a radio for my SC in the garage. It might actually fit. SCs and Supras are very similar in a lot of ways. Terrible, disgusting steering wheel, bro. Like, at least this actually works. That's nice. <laughs> I mean, eh. Oh, look at this, look at this. It's kind of cool. That's my car. That's my car at the place I got it from. Seats in the back are not amazing. The thing I really like about Supras is we have them here in America. So unless it's exclusive parts like the cockpit on the right side, I can get literally, any, I can get seats, I can get door cards, I can get rear seats. You know, it's probably pretty pricey, but like the, we have this car in America. Unlike my R33 that's in the garage, it's very hard to get those parts. Like I can get suspension parts, axle, I can get anything for this car that I want, including transmissions and motors because we all have that here. So it's nice. So in a manual five speed, oh my God, that's so cold. Um, it needs a lot of little love. Like what, who the hell, I don't do, they, it's like, it's, I'm gonna, I'm excited because like, this is going to really test my love for the Supra. Am I gonna have the patience, love and desire to, to get this thing back to, I will of course, to how it should be or there is no or. One thing, dude, this door card right here really just gives me an aneurysm, a full brain aneurysm. Let me just, who, who's man's, that's, a, they freaking painted the, the, the pleather, like the, what the hell? This is like some plastic thing, like all the wiring in here is messed up. I can't roll up this window because somebody janked this up, but that's all right, because I will have uh, Johnny come and help. <laughs> Don't really know that we got a mismatching speaker here and there. But look at this, guys, hold up. Like, just my favorite thing ever is just the cockpit of the Supra. I don't care if I have a crappy steering wheel and ugly things to look at right here, dude. It's just so nice. Like, you are just sucked in. And as soon as I get this right, the car, I think, will feel at home and it'll be, feel okay. The trans is okay. I was driving it. Uh, the third gear synchro is starting to get bad, but I, W58s are literally, like, thrown in the trash here in America. So, like, not a big deal. But one thing I haven't done yet is actually, like, one, looked at the motor. So, let's do that. And, how do I open the trunk? Eh. How do you open the freaking trunk, dude? What the heck? Where is it? It's always like right here. Anyways, let's check out this nice, naturally aspirated, ugly GE. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nasty. I'm excited because I'm going to get rid of this GE and we're going to put an actual VVTi GTE in this mug. Does this thing have a header? Oh my God, it does. I think it's an aftermarket header. Oh yeah, dude. That's definitely some Japanese spec welding, like steel header. Ooh, baby. Mm -hmm. So overall, like the engine bay is not bad. The engine is actually fine. Like the car runs and drives really well. It needs a lot of love in a lot of places though. Definitely going to get rid of this 2JZ and I'm going to get an actual GTE for. We're gonna turn it into a twin turbo car. But this is actually like, I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not super upset. I'm not, or I'm not upset at all really about how this is. Like it looks really nice in here. I've done the 2JZ to a 1JZ swap. Now that I've done all that, I'm thinking if I do nothing to the engine bay and I don't clean it up, which I might, I think I could actually swap the motor in like two days. 
because it's I honestly feel like it'd be pretty easy. Let's go to the trunk and see what in the world is going on back here. <sighs> How do I open the freaking trunk, dude? Hey, dude, look at that. It actually opens unlike my SC. Hey, the hydraulics still work. When I opened my SC's trunk, it would literally fall on my head and I almost guillotined myself a lot of times with that car. I'm not really sure about... Okay, so this car at one time had an amp and everything. It looks like the, the audio and crap was stolen or something out of the car. I would love, fill that interior back in. I'm gonna go ahead and start like clearing some of this out. This is disgusting, bro. That's not even, that's not even, okay. All right, dude, it just literally fell. I just want to express that I um, am very excited right now. I just walked around the car that I've wanted since I was like seven years old. And as dumb as like as dumb as this spec is, like it's still exciting for me. Ew, what the hell is this? Ugh. What is this, dude? Don't tell me this is some Okay, bro. What is it's very dirty. It's also cut. You know what? I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. This is the weirdest pencil I've ever seen. Um, you guys see this, dude? That's have a nice little pin. It do still work. Got a bunch of little random, like, miscellaneous interior pieces. And then, dude, this, like, this, I mean, this thing is in really, really bad condition. I'm just gonna toss this, look at that. Like, you can hear it cracking. Oh! This seat's not really in. Cool. What's in here? Nothing. Anything in here? I always like surprises. Oh. Oh! They actually, he actually has the freaking, why would you have it just sitting in the car? And he's got a freaking side marker here too. It's, oh, it's hella broken. Yo, hold up, hold up. Yo! Contraband. No, 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 no. Yo! Oh, God, stop dropping it. I got some Japanese currency. Oh. That's so cool. This is why I buy Japanese cars right here, just to have some weird crap. Yes, dude. I don't know what homie was doing, bro. I just literally just like slit. It's not screwed in right now. I don't even know if there's a thing to screw it in with, but like at least it has a cover. It doesn't look dinky and dumb. Maybe it looks a little dinky and dumb, but I don't know. Just, I feel like the car just really needs a nice like, huge deep clean like he's got some overspray right there i could get some acetone and wipe some of this down that's my favorite part that's her favorite part my favorite part is the paint and the exterior so pretty soon we're gonna have a full detail day to see if we can at least like revive some of the paint dude <laughs> i love this cockpit bro y'all should have seen him last night he was just kind of like beside himself out of body experience I didn't, really I didn't want to talk or anything. He was just like I didn't even celebrate, bro. I didn't even celebrate. I just like sat down and processed. <laughs> this is a little interesting. It doesn't it doesn't go back up, so I'm gonna have to try and fix the seatbelt mechanism in here. It just literally like I'm gonna die if I you know. sure why the car is like lifted now this is the same size sidewall <laughs> this actually this wheel would actually work on this car if I had some suspension but the fronts are actually okay hello buddy I know you just love the new super don't you bud the fronts are actually okay they fit great I'm kind of just messing around I do want some like actual nice mesh wheels for this car mesh looks really good on these but uh, for now I just wanted to kind of test and see um, Cause you know, honestly, it's kind of sad. People who own Supras have like the worst taste in wheels and also just choose the worst fitment possible. So I'm just trying to figure some stuff out, but I'm definitely gonna take those off. I think today has shown that wheels and suspension is gonna make this car look so awesome. The, something weird going on back here. I think this the rear suspension may be bad because it doesn't recompress very easily. It's like sitting a little lifted. <laughs> so um, I do have coilovers coming and I will go ahead and hop on wheels pretty soon. Victoria has cleaned the bejeebas 
out of this interior. Still have a dangling mirror. It's fine. It's looking a little nicer in here. Now, take it for a spin. on there it might just not be very good That is one thing. I'm gonna get like, I'm gonna do a GTE in this car, but I definitely need a Supra diff, like an actual LSD, because this open diff is no bueno. Ooh. Oh! Oh, there's like a leaf that just came out. <laughs> oh, look at me, I'm covered oh. in crap. Ew. Well, there you go. We've had a beautiful experience with this old stinky Japanese car. As far as plans go, I am definitely doing a GTE swap, so you guys don't have to worry. Obviously, I'm gonna be like trying to, this. I would say this is gonna be more of a restoration. This is really gonna test my love for the Supra. Do I have enough love for this car to endure all this mess? I'll definitely clean up the interior. Like I said, I have a wing coming, I have a lip coming. I'm gonna try and get a bunch of TRD stuff. Uh, obviously then a motor swap. Gonna have to try and find a pumpkin for this. I don't need a super diff, but I need some sort of limited slip diff and... Hey look, the suspension's settled again. <laughs> And then coilovers, and then you know, you already know your boy gotta do the straight pipe. I need to get this thing onto the lift. You check bushings and stuff underneath. Um, it's got some clankiness going on. I'm, whatever the header they have on this is like not so good. I'm gonna try and find all the stuff that goes in here to cover up that little well, and I need a, a radio, so. I'm just gonna try and make this car as nice uh, as I can, and then I just gonna make it a nice, lovable, beautiful car. Supras all have potential. It's even the naturally aspirated manual ones. We're gonna whip out the full potential of, of the soup. My daily advice for you guys is simple today. I want you guys to know the happiness does not come from, from material possessions. I'm not gonna lie, a Supra makes me very happy. But a lot of people depend on stuff like this to sort of give them this, this false sense of happiness and, and joy. If you can learn to be happy with a little, you'll be able to be happy with a lot. If you can't be happy with a little, then you're going to live a miserable life. I am so grateful for this opportunity. I'm very excited to put Evan's touch on this Supra in need. Love you guys. Y'all take it easy. Hey, I got two videos for you right there. Watch the two videos in front of you. You can also win my Evo. Make sure you just click the link in the top of the description. Check it out. Get some entries in and enjoy the super content to come.